sometimes our students would like to have a free preview of your online course before they decide to buy the course. So how do you give a free preview of your Thinkific course to your students? And then most importantly, what does that look like from the student's perspective? But even more important, how do you then manage all of those students and send them marketing emails to then offer the course? So let's take a look and I'm going to jump in here to my test account. This is my partner account here where all this information is test information. So there's no personal information apart from my personal email address. So I'm going to have a look at a course that's called My Signature Course 2022. And I want to open up two things. First, I want to have my course site. So my landing page, which is where I am now in site pages. And over here, I've also got the course open, My Signature Course Review 2022. When I log in, the first thing I see is my curriculum. Okay, what I have in my landing page here is that you can see this button that says buy for 100. You might see when you first start to play with your course, yours might say enroll for free. And the reason why it says enroll for free is that you have not yet set the pricing. So for example, yours might look like this example here where it says enroll for free. Now this does not mean that you've got a free a free preview. It means your entire course is free. So we want to make sure that you have the one time payment here. I'm just going to put $100 and this then puts the buy for $100 button here. And when people click on it, it then takes them to the sign up page where they enter their email address and they enter their payment method. Now what we want to do is have another button here that's called free preview. Now you can see that you can go into the banner here and you can add a button. That's not what we're going to do. This free preview is automatically set up in Thinkific so that the button appears when you've configured your course to have a free preview. So let's have a look at how you configure your course. Over here in my signature course page, I go back into the curriculum. And in this curriculum, you can see I have all of these lessons. My lessons have little icons next to them to show the key for prerequisites or to show the type of lesson. What we're going to do is click on the lesson that we want to change. And when we configure it, we would also see another icon here for the free preview. So let's jump into this first lesson here. And it's very simple. We're just going to scroll to the bottom where the settings are and mark this as a free preview lesson. You can see more information by hovering over the eye icon, but let's continue here. And I make sure that I save. Now you can see that we've got this free preview icon. Now you can do multiple ones. So let's go into some others and mark these as free and save. Okay, and another one. And mark this as free and save. So now let's come back over to our course page and let me refresh this page here. And here you can see that I have the free preview button. So let's have a look at what this looks like from the student's perspective. Now, from the student's perspective, we want to ensure that we're not enrolled into Thinkific or we're not signed into Thinkific as an admin because it won't work. But another way to do this is to go into an incognito window. So I'm going to copy this page link here and I'm going to go into an incognito window and then going to paste this link in. And you can see the same landing page here. Now, this hasn't been configured at all, so it's not that nice, but we're just having a look at these buttons here. So I can buy, and if I click on buy, you would then see that I need to add in my details. And when I add in my details, I then have the payment options that are available. Or I can click on free preview, which then brings me to exactly the same page, but there's no payment button. Now, as I type in my email address here, you can see that it already recognizes that I'm an existing student of this platform. So I don't have to enter my email in, I just have to sign in. Okay, but if I'm not an existing user, I have to then just do my email, my name and sign up. And now what we can see is here is the three lessons that we created as our free preview lessons. And this is all I can see. I cannot see any other units. Okay, so only those you only those lessons that are a free preview. So I can go through those. And that's it. So then how does this look 
as you as an admin in Thinkific, how can you see those people who have signed up for a pre free preview? And then how do you send the marketing information to then sell your actual online course? So let's go back into Thinkific here. And the way we do this is we go into support your students and we go into users. When we go into users here, we can see all of our users. Now in these users, we can then go in and I'm going to go into Stella Brooks, who is my user, and I can see these enrollment status here. Okay, so this is really important. The enrollment status shows me if someone has an active enrollment, which means they've signed up for the course and it doesn't matter if they signed up with a coupon, if they sign up with a 100% discount, a 50% discount, or they paid the full amount, they would be an active enrollment. If they have only clicked on the free preview and they've only seen those lessons that we provide as a free pre preview, then they appear as an enrolled in free preview. So this is really important information because from here, I think then can go in and send an email to the student, Stella Brooks. So over back here in the users section, I can then click on Stella Brooks here and send her an email. So then the message can say, have you signed up for the course yet? You finished the preview, free preview. Here's a coupon. You can write this course, this email, however you like. But what you can also do is that you can link Thinkific to your marketing platform. So if you use MailChimp, if you use Active Campaign, if you use Zoho Campaigns, whatever your platform is to manage your students or manage all of your contacts, you can use platforms such as Zapier, which we're not going to look into this video, but if you would like to know how you can link this into your campaign platform, let me know in the comments below. But what you can do is that every single time a new contact is created and a new user signs up for a free preview, then they get pushed into your platform and you can assign a tag that says free preview. Likewise, when a new enrollment, a full enrollment or active enrollment happens, you can do the same thing. You can push them into your campaign system or your campaign platform with a tag of an active enrollment. And then in your campaign platform, you can run automatic emails to send an email to everyone that has signed up for a free preview in the last five days or, or five days ago and send them an email saying, hey, you signed up for the pre free preview. How did it go? Here's a 10% discount. Sign up for the whole platform or sign up for the whole course. So if you'd like to know how you can use Zapier to be able to find these students here who have done an enrolled in free preview or an active enrollment and send this enrollment status into your campaign system, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to create one of those videos for you. Okay, so creating a free preview for your Thinkific online course is super simple. It's just literally a click of a button and then everything else happens automatically. But it's also important to see what that looks like from the student perspective. And then what are the next steps for you as a business owner for your course? How do you then encourage people to sign up for your online course? Each week I do have a new course video here on my YouTube channel. So subscribe and hit that bell button so you are notified. But if there is a, a particular video that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, happy course creating.